Aquarius, welcome to your reading this week. Let's see what spirit has in store for you. Hope you guys are all well and safe and taking it easy. So we have Angel Light. This is your crystal that you could work with for this week. Spiritual and or religious community. So the angel is above the earth, you know, she's in that world by herself, the spiritual realm, spiritual or religious community. YouTube has a really large spiritual and uh, religious community. So join with like-minded people for friendships and increased spiritual growth. So connect for your guidance. Always do connect with your angels. We will lead you and guide you at this time. You know, it is a period where my gosh, uh, people still take the time to ill, Ill treat each other and with all what is going on still see a merely physical experience people's lives have no value you know money <laughs> is still they think they could use their money to still control the masses and you know oppress people it just makes no sense so I'm gonna go on to the crystal wind oracle to get your overall energy for this week and it's gonna highlight where you've been the present and the future so pretty interesting you're the medicine woman or man okay believe achieve receive uh, this is talking about healing love healing capabilities, your energy, anchoring uh, into Mother Gaia, anchoring it down into the earth, pulling it down, up, down from the heavens into the earth. And, um, you know, there's a black and the white souls. Things may be hidden. However, you know, some strong manifestation, powers and qualities that... Uh, you possibly tapped into you know and you believe you achieve you receive whatever that means for your specific situation whether it's a job a career uh, but some of you also uh, this is talking about uh, spiritual healing like uh, practitioners Reiki uh, who else you know like real healing capabilities some of you don't think you're a healer but you actually are you bring healing your energy brings healing to others some of you need an energy healing you know so based on your situation you decide what it is but it's some strong manifestation abilities that you have tapped into and in the now uh, as the week goes uh, whatever you have going on do make time for meditation it's time for an invocation calling on your higher self to give you the blueprint for this next part of your mission yeah a Mayan goddess summons celestial ceremony so really uh, changing your contract uh, manifesting who you want to be now you know a lot has fallen away and this time that we have we're using it to really explore our true nature our hobbies our likes our dislikes you know and uh, using what we have found to assist us with the next phase of our journey because uh, things will no longer be the same we're stepping into a time where but it will, it's not okay to walk on the street or go to work or go to the pub, it, you know, it's not okay. So things will forever be changed. People may be staying home more, you know, because of this 
threat this you know so really tap into your multi-dimensional selves pull out those hobbies understand get the blueprint for the next um, face you know and I understood that concept the other day when I found some pictures and you know it was a sudden realization that this time what's happening now is to put the pieces together to see where you are on your journey you know you could choose to turn back and run away because things are too hard or you could just keep going so we have Pan. Pan is the, the trickster god, you know. Don't take it seriously. And uh, he talks about, you know, uh, situations where, like, you shitting in your pants. Like, it's a panic, you know. So, uh, and that is, one, because you're taking things too seriously. Uh, although, you know, they are, they, there might be things. But don't take it personal. Just understand that whatever exists is because we're evolving at different rates. So as others vibration increase, some others what they they stay the same or they decrease, you know, but you just really have to realize that not everybody is at your frequency. So have fun, although things may be challenging play laugh dance but uh pan is here just to evoke that sort of panic within you so you could really stand up for yourself and take the necessary actions you know to to create the you that you've been dreaming of and uh for some of us if we don't take the actions when they are required we stay stuck in 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 a dimension you know or and you know we don't evolve so another lesson has to come along and instead of being further up in your um source of evolution it's like you you, you miss a level you miss something so this time is really needed for you to awaken to your <laughs> natural manifestation qualities and power and uh, we, we are now entering we have entered Taurus season you know uh, into the summertime and that is always a time where uh, plants bloom you know it's the sun is out you know creation wakes up so great manifestation period that we are entering and uh, spirit, uh, spirit really wants you to take advantage of this time don't waste it uh, don't waste it with too much worrying on uh, low dimensional frequencies you know that don't match who you are at this time I'm just gonna clarify this reading with the butterfly oracle and we have sentimental feelings so some of you start the week off in your feelings you know and that is only because something new is brewing something new is being manifested and um in my uh evolutionary process or my ascension process or my spiritual path or whatever you want to call it um i've realized that when things get really bad is when you're <laughs> tapping into something you know like get some great changes um in the physical world or in the spiritual dimension you know like you're you're moving up a level and because where you are now doesn't match the vibration of where you going it just makes it chaotic you know so um, they're saying being in between worlds uh, that is the feeling that I'm getting getting with this being in between worlds um, new exercise program so they're really asking you to try something new I know I do yoga I used to run I have felt like I was getting runner's knee to be physical exercise or um, just trying a different approach altogether 
really seeing things uh, through the eyes of your higher self seeing things through the eyes of the higher self and I like how the butterfly uh, is the wings are outstretched just just like the, the higher self the depiction you know the arms are open outstretched you know so some expansion could be taking place yeah trying a different approach you know they say it is madness to try this to keep doing the same things over and over and expect a different result and join in okay so whatever that means to you I know it may be difficult for some of us due to the restrictions where you at join in it could be a conversation I hope it's a conversation you know um, let me get your advice all in all uh, it looks like another challenge in week <laughs> you know where you in your feelings but something new is is crystallizing something new is brewing I'd say take time for, for prayer guys oh, well love new love and as when we hear love we always think of someone else but it could be new love for a project it could be new love a new lover you know um, just let me know how this really fits your situation this week let me know what this new love is project person I'm going to go on to the Love Oracle for some guidance regarding this new love. Oh, you are a person from whom others could learn. You're the teacher. Yeah, you are the teacher. Belief in the fact that it will all come to a happy end. Ooh. Do you believe in happy endings? No. Belief in the fact that it will come to a real happy end. The end of the struggle. And it came up again I like when spirit does that you are a person from whom others could learn okay I like it like it I'm gonna go on to an angel and an affirmation for you life adventure guys wonderful adventure awaits you by weeks end or this entire experience feels like a wonderful adventure do you use affirmations vision boards visualizations and similar maybe you practice hypnosis or NLP on some level, they can help you. If you want more, more of yourself, want to become and live from within you without programming, then stop doing it and begin asking questions without looking for answers. Mm. Yes, so let life lead you this week where it needs you in the direction that it needs you. Your affirmation is, what great and splendid adventure awaits me today? What can I add to my life to make today greater? Even beyond my wildest expectations. Okay, let me know what you've done this week. Right, hope to see you guys soon. Be well. Much love.